Yo everyone, uh, as promised I'm going to actually do the arcade over here. Um, by the way, you can do this anytime you want, you just uh, go into the cantina basically and go do it. Um, it's also worth mentioning that uh, if you've completed the campaign, just simply load up a save where you can go into the cantina, because you can't, obviously you didn't bring the arcade machine down to char, as awesome as that would be. But uh, let's go give this a try. Um, just, just as a notice, uh, there's a lot of levels. Um, I got up to level 9, and I, just, I actually quit because I was just bored of it. Because you can't really save it in the middle. kind of sucks in that way. Um, basically, it, there's actually fundamentally three levels. And then it does the, it repeats the same three levels except with a bit of increased difficulty. Uh, the bosses have slightly more health, and um, sometimes they gain more attacks and stuff. And sometimes there's a slightly new enemy. But it's like a really like not not like overly changing, so you're not actually going to see me do it like as much as I can because that's going to take way too damn long. Like already as it is, like uh, I, I think it took me like an hour and a half or something to get up to level nine. Um, but I'll tell you how to get the achievement basically if you're up up for that, or you you just get to see me do a walkthrough and I'll give you all my advice uh, as we go through it. All right, from left to right. Um, by the way, there's two levels for each power up, except for bombs, which you get uh, as many as you want. I think uh, it just keeps a counter. Um, these are side missiles, which you will not be using. These are drones, which you will really want. Uh, you always, these are the highest priority to get because they also act as extra lives, which is highly convenient. These are plasma, which you actually really want to have, and then bombs are the last thing. If you maxed out these, you get bombs. And the way you basically decide to get bombs is you um, uh, you wait for it to cycle. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna go kill some scouts. By the way, this is a classic NES kind of a control scheme because uh, basically tapping spacebar makes you fire faster. And uh, missing some. This is me holding it normally. This is me tapping. They do that on purpose too. They're such jerks. Alright. Oh, there's our first power-up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to turn into drone. It cycles to the drone eventually. It goes through all four. And on the last one, it will actually go away. When you see it going towards the end of, uh, the bottom of the screen, it will go away. Okay, that's another that's another bomb. But as I said, we just wait. And you see, you know how it was uh, cycling before? Uh, okay, and we dodge. Now to tell you about the bombs. I, I, just, I can do the bombs just by pressing control. Whoa, okay, I lost my drone. That was a mistake. Basically, you never want to use your bombs except in the case where you know you cannot dodge. That is what bombs are. That's what bombs are for. Okay. When you think you're in trouble, uh, you basically you just hit spacebar and it's, it gives you a little bit of invincibility. And when s shit is flying at you, uh, you can press spacebar. I just did that there. Okay. Now I'm up for plasma. Oh. Uh, as it doesn't matter if there's 500 enemies on the screen. If you can dodge, you do not use the bombs. And you just look, look at yourself and just keep firing, because chances are, there you go. I got my plasma. As I said, as long as you can dodge, you're okay. And now I've let, and now I've let max that out. We're good. We're good to go. And this is good enough to kill bosses now, which is just in time, because this is this is the first boss. First boss should not be a problem. Uh, it shouldn't even attack you. It has like interceptors, a uh, few little things to dodge. As I said, that after the first time you play through it, you'll pretty much understand exactly what enemies come at you and stuff. It's kind of, it's actually kind of an interesting game type that they made. I right, interceptors and the drones, as you can see, just randomly attack an enemy, and you gotta watch out for the little balls. And first attack is coming, and I don't think I can finish him off. Oh, I just finished him off. Wow. Wow, that was, that was lucky. So I made I made it to 50,000 50, easy uh, just by doing this. Just just the same strategy, and now, now literally all I'm after is bombs now. I'm not after anything else. I don't, I don't, I could give half a crap about anything else the game has to provide, unless I lose my drones. That should be the only case, because if you get hit, a, a drone will a drone will die. And as I said, in these kinds of cases, like with with scourges and stuff, you shouldn't be actually focusing on the enemies on the screen. You should actually focus on your ship and, and, and dodging. You're just gonna like you're. It's just a hail of fire that's like gonna kill them all. Man, I just got an extra life. 
Oh, okay, so there's there's our uh, there's our thing, and we're just gonna wait for it to cycle through. Okay, we can go over here to because the plasma is more dangerous. Um, the only time you're really gonna want to hit them with your plasma gun is when it's enemies like this who are obviously more powerful. And it just cycled to the bomb. I'm gonna pick that up. Okay, we got a bomb over there, which we want. If you miss it, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Don't take any risks. Uh, you can use your bomb if you can. If the bomb isn't reachable, it's gonna change back. Because I think it only changes once. And look, we're still doing really good. And uh, as I said, your your finger is gonna have be really sore from just like constantly tapping us. Now this, okay, I have to use it. Do you see that situation I was in? Don't don't take a chance. As I said, that's and you get that temporary vulnerability. That's why you want it. Here I can dodge that. See, that's what we're really after. I can tell you brief things. Carrier boss is pretty much the easiest boss. Uh, it's really not even a, it's a non-issue. Like you shouldn't have any trouble with that. Uh, he doesn't gain any really powerful attacks. He just has more health, and you'll sometimes see his other attacks. But that, that's as far as I got. Like, I got up to level 9, I didn't see any variation in his, in his attacks. I don't see much change in the uh, in the bosses coming up either. He just gets, as I said, slightly more health. Uh, attacks remain the same. It's it's the last boss which actually gets more t tougher. Okay, I didn't want to risk that. One looked like it was coming right for me. As I said, I have four bombs, which is more than what I started to level with, so that's a... You're going to keep gaining them. And in my case, I actually had, uh, I had like 17 or something, uh, or 20, I had 20 at one point, until I started to kind of dwindle at level 9, and then I didn't really care after that point, because I had gotten 50,000 points. That's what it'll take, it'll take you getting to level, uh, level 9, to basically get you 50,000, which is, you know, if you're, if you're achievement whore, then that's, that's what you, that's what you're gonna want. I'm an achievement whore. They're fun, it's, it's, it's like metagaming. Oh fuck, okay, I lost one. So, when you lose one, you basically just wait for one to cycle back to the bomb, and one is doing that now. Don't, don't overly risk it, like I really want that, but obviously that is not a good situation for me to get it. Oh, and I died. Just something stupid. Okay. Oh, wow, that was close. Let's just kill everything on the screen. Because I just wanted this. I kind of want this for the boss. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I did much better my own run. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Okay. We'll just let them go. Okay. Alright. Don't... By the way, if you pick up the side missiles by accident, uh, it will reset you to level 1. Uh, level 1 side missiles, that is. There we go. Okay. Remember to watch your character? I wasn't doing that too much. Oh boy. This is not cool. Uh, oh god. Uh, I keep using it too late. That's my bad. I'm, I'm doing really actually terrible for a walkthrough. Yeah, okay, at this rate I'll probably never get to love 50,000. Even if I wanted to. Oh, uh, maybe not. Not doing that badly anymore. Fuck, oh, I lost it again. Okay, I got all these guys. Okay, that was getting a little bit risky. Uh, let's get you. Okay, so we got one bomb. Uh, I guess not that bad, but I probably would have preferred all the bombs. Okay, when you practice and not suck like I am right now, I'm just doing the walkthrough, as I said, to level 3. Uh, but you'll be able to do it. As I said, this setup is the best, and dodge way better than I did. Okay, for this one, the tentacles just come and attack you, and you'll pretty much see the first one coming. Like that. And there's just these things that you have to do avoid. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of bombs left, so I'm going to really try and avoid using that. The pattern is pretty straightforward. It's not like, uh... Well, I don't know what that game is called, I can't pronounce it, it's that Japanese ship game that everyone says is really hard. Uh, it's like with the red and blue and you switch to shields. 
Yeah, I've never been like a huge, really like, oh wait, wait, when she does the roar, go away. I, I did not catch that on the first time I did this. Oh, well, who would? Goodbye, life, goodbye, life. I didn't have to use my bomb. Phew. Alright. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Whatever. Yeah, okay. I, I, I know I used a lot. Wow, that, I'm doing really bad. But as I said, the advice is set. That's how I got it, and I'll show you at the end uh, the achievements and stuff. Just to, I guess, prove it or show off. Just did my evening. This is actually probably one of the easier ones. This is easier than the last one because it doesn't have the scourge crab coming at you. But th this is the hardest boss, though. At the end of this. Wraiths are incredibly weak. Alright. Ah, here we go. It reminds me a lot of, uh... I used to like a game called Tyran. Uh, Tyran? I don't exactly know the how to the pronunciation of it. Um... But it was one of my favorite games. Uh, I might actually still LP it at one point. Okay, this is this is a close quarters. I don't want to be in this situation. We're still attempting to dodge. Okay, science hustles fire a bunch of crap at you. Okay. Oh, damn! I was gonna get the bomb. I'll get this one though. Unfortunately, that will not change back into a bomb. So you might as well just go get something like this. Like, it'll give you points, so that's good enough. It, it, it will just float to the bottom of the screen after that. I think it, I think it only changes four times. Don't quote me on that if I'm wrong. If I'm right, then you can quote me all you want. I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, more science hustles. Yeah, these guys these guys are kind of tough to dodge, but... Yeah, that, that one made me a little bit nervous, too. But I won. Plus, there's a thing at the ready for me. As I said, it doesn't matter if there's 50 enemies, if you are dodging everything... You are fine. Think think of them not as bombs, but as of shields. Okay, come on. Alright, I got it. That was a little risky, but... Oh boy. It's It just helps more better to just watch yourself. Like, whoa. You know, when you see lasers coming at you, that's when you dodge. Side muscles are extremely helpful. Oh, there we go. Here we go, got them. I usually just like to focus on the middle guys here, and occasionally the other guys. There we go, we're good. Okay, I already got, I technically already got the first achievement, because that would be, uh, that would be fine. And this is exactly what it- oh fuck, I got the side missiles. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, now I'm gonna- now you're gonna watch me have a ton more trouble with the, the, the mission. I was just about to get the bombs. Side missiles are great for killing all these guys, but, uh, horrible at anything with armor. That's nice, you have the things. I'm gonna try and switch it up as soon as possible. It's fucking horrible. Oh, side missiles. Don't make the same mistake I just did. Don't buy it. Don't buy these fucking... Okay, they're plasma. Alright. Just hope I get one more, because... See how fast, much faster that actually went? It's ridiculous. I need one more plasma to kill, kill the boss. The final boss. Nope, I'm not getting it. No, no, wait. I might still get it. There we go. Oh, thank God. Come on, come on. Change, change, change your thing. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. It is worth it to have plasma. Believe me on that. Now, some bosses have insta-kill attacks. Like, uh, believe it or not, the Leviathan's tentacles were actually insta-kill. So if you get hit by it once, you're actually dead. Uh, you don't lose a drone. You just die. Kind of sucks, but, you know, what can you do? Hey, race. Look how nerfed you are at StarCraft 2. 
Alright, as I said, you just let it cycle to the bomb or whatever else you want. Come on. And here's the boss. It's uh, everyone's favorite from that, that uh, April Fool's joke they had. There you go. Six bombs. Terratron! Terrorize! I don't know. These attacks are pretty simple, just a lot of undodgeable crap. Um, use the bombs if you need to. Sometimes you don't always need to. Like that. It's a little hard to do it with your keyboard. But... You can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Alright, and we just go like here... So I'm not that bad at these kind of games. That's why I like Tyrant. But I never played that with a keyboard. I think I played that with the mouse most of the time. As soon as I discovered the mouse. There you go. Remember? Your own self-defense first. That would be an insta-kill attack. That he just did. But don't worry, we killed him. And we win. And as I said, uh, you know, this this all this does is repeat over and over again. Uh, so I'm not gonna continue it from here. But we get to see the wonderful ending. I don't even know if there's some kind of special ending. I don't actually think there is. I've opened the map and I don't I don't remember seeing anything. Yay! Yay! It's Viking Bill. You made it home. The princess will kiss you. It, it's like old, old, <coughs> old style uh, victory screen. If you get lost again, your enemy will be stronger. Yeah. Gory again systems. Yeah. Alright, well, there's nothing else we actually really want here. Uh, well, as I said, you can continue, and that's how you get the lots and lots of points, but we're not doing that. We're, we're done. Uh, as, as I said, there's nothing to see. It's just repeating over and over again. Not too, too, too simple. And I got I got relatively far. I, I got bored faster than I, I got... <laughs> than I beat up. Alright, and just to show you guys, achievements. Uh, well, actually, no. Let me go back to the main screen. Quick campaign. So I did finish, as I said, my brutal run. Uh, and right here, 100% uh, achievements. Completed all the missions. And uh, so I can just look at my profile, I guess, and you can see uh, I've done all missions on brutal. Uh, and where would the achievements be? Right here. And we go into... I think the only two I was missing were... One second. Uh, uh, it was I don't remember. Oh, story mode. Oh, here you go. It was uh, gain five hundred thousand. It's not fifty thousand. Was this saying fifty thousand? It's five hundred thousand. It's it's uh, basically uh, the. Uh, by the way, I, I I should warn you that the achievement pop ups happen in the middle of the game. And if your Viking is below there, uh, it can fuck you up. <laughs> just just as a forewarning. Um, so it's like a. It, but just remember the the points so you're kind of prepared. So yeah, it's five hundred thousand. And uh, the last one I didn't have on my count, but now I have it. Is uh, you complete the Liberty ca campaign in under eight hours of total played mission time, which I uh, actually I actually streamed it. I was just you know dicking around in the campaign. It was actually it was actually a lot a lot of laughs. We were all having a good time. And I think that's basically it. So um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the entire walkthrough. I hope to do some more stuff like that. Um, you know, in the, in the future, I guess with Heart of the Swarm as well. Uh, I found it a very entertaining, a nice break from FPS games. Um, I hope you I, I hope you liked it as well, and uh, I hope uh, good luck in Lost Viking. I'll see you later.